Jeff Keen here in the 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland Performance. Now Tesla has a sentry mode, which is really nice because you can see if anyone comes around your car while you're not there. It'll record people and vehicles and show a message on the display. So the car will pop up the sentry display with the red eye and it will record video to the USB drive from all external cameras. It uses the exterior cameras to detect presence. So that means those cameras are running all the time while sentry mode is enabled. And you can exclude your home or work locations. If you turn off camera-based detection, it'll only record video if someone tries to open the vehicle or hits it. And there are different levels of sentry. If someone just walks by, it's just gonna pop up the message on the display and start recording video. It's not gonna make any noises or flash any lights. Tesla used to flash the headlights every time motion was detected. Now they just have it pulse when someone tries to open the door without the key. Just as a little reminder. The headlight flashing could be a problem if there's really hard rain, it would flash the lights all night long. Now, if there's a major incident while sentry mode's running, it'll actually send a notification to the Tesla app and record video that you can view in the app. Now this is just for major events, you can't view when someone just walks by. But if you subscribe to premium data and you have sentry mode enabled, you can view the live cams anytime you want from the Tesla app. Even the internal cams, and if you have dog mode enabled, you can see what the internal temperature is and how your dog is doing while you're away. So I'm gonna leave sentry mode on overnight and let's see how much battery percentage it uses. So I overcharged Luda, so this is a great time to do the test. I left it at 94% with sentry mode enabled and let's see what it's at in the morning. So by 9.07 in the morning, it used 6% of the battery using sentry mode. So that means it used 0.375% per hour or 9% per day. Let me know if this is what you're experiencing on other hardware for cars. These now have 4K cameras, so they may even use more than the previous hardware three vehicles. And there are only a few detection events during the night there you go, sentry mode for the Tesla. It's great to leave on on your daily commutes when you're parking in stores or wherever you're gonna go during the day. But I'd definitely turn it off if you're gonna leave your car at the airport or anywhere for a long duration. The sentry mode will turn off when the battery hits 20%, but then you're gonna return to your car with a low battery, you're gonna have to find a charger. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi and tech products.